Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to trigger an Elementor pop-up in a native WordPress menu without adding a single plugin. This is how it's going to look like, just like this. And here I'm using the Astra theme and I'm basically using the WordPress native menu. Let's dive straight in. To be able to create that pop-up and display it in the native WordPress menu. One, you must have the pop-up created. Now let's just head over to Elementor uh, templates, then we come to pop-ups. Here we can create our pop-up native menu. Create the pop-up. And basically here, uh, Elementor is going to give us their templates. We can choose from any of these. I'll just close this here. I can just create my pop-up using uh, just uh, from scratch let me just uh, add a few elements let me just do something like this uh, like height minimum height something like this then i can add uh, an element maybe for a video you can just come over here to youtube i pick up the link so once you're done creating your pop-up you can just as now publish the pop-up and here we have to add a condition and that condition should be entire site now we need to save and publish save and close boom so once you have your pop-up created and saved now we are going to go to our wordpress site and then we are going to create a page don't worry we are going to delete this it's just for to help us to create a link that we are going to use for linking up our pop-up in our native menu so what we do here we say native just giving it a name a rough name and then i can edit in elementor once i have it here i can just come at the section come right here pick up a button element and on this button element, I'm going to come to the link options, come to dynamic, look up for pop-up, under actions, and then on the pop-up, we click right here still, we select open pop-up, and we select the pop-up we want to show. Our pop-up name is called native, and then we save that. Once that's done, we close the page, and then we are going to view the page. So. We can just come over here to pages and look for that page we called native. Then we open the page and we have our button here. So once we click here, our pop-up shows up. This is what we wanted. Now, what we are going to do at the moment is now to come to the button, uh, right click, then we copy the link address of that button. This is the address that Elementor uses actually to display this pop-up. We can paste it like in a Word document or a notepad. So what I need from this link, which is the link address, I just need everything that starts with the hash until the end of that link. So I just copy that over here. I just come back here to my WordPress website and then I have now to go straight to the menu and once I'm at the menu this is the menu I have so I'm going now to add another menu item using a custom link and in the URL section I delete whatever is there I just paste our link we brought from our notepad or a Microsoft Word document and then here we are going to name that so native pop-up and then we add to the menu and then we save so once we have that saved we can just come to our website reload and have our menu item now showing up so now let's test it and see how it displays so once i click here it should be able to show but for some reason it's not showing up oh no I brought in there is a forward slash 
so I forgot to remove the forward slash so I have to remove that I just save and update come back to our home reload our page and then we click here boom our pop-up shows up since now we have created our pop-up and it's showing up very well on our website let's go back to the pages and we delete the page that we created once you are here we delete this page which is called native and then uh, we come to trash and we permanently delete that page you can still come back to our website to update click on the native pop-up boom it shows up method two of this same trick uh, we are going to use the CSS ID to actually display this pop-up in the native WordPress menu so to do that one you must have uh, your pop-up created so I already have this pop-up created and uh, what I just need to do is just to go to the pop-up settings so this is the pop-up settings area come to advanced and under advanced come on the open by selector and open by selector just give it a selector that you want to use make sure it should be unique and not used anywhere on your entire website so I'll just put period one and then I'll say hmm native uh, feedback and then I'll just copy that selector I update here and uh, make sure that in your pop-up display conditions is actually supposed to display on the entire site so we save and close then come to the WordPress menu section and then open the menu section come to the screen options and make sure you, you enable the CSS classes once you enable the CSS classes we come over to the custom links delete the URL that is there just put a hash and then we add to the menu once we add to the menu come here to the menu section and then add the CS class that you created right here in the pop-up settings and the advanced section CSS class that you created which is open by selector and we add it right here and then we add the navigation label we can give it like hmm native native pop so now we can just save the menu so once we save we just come back here to our website and then reload that website after reloading then we just click on the native pop and boom it shows up that's how you can trigger elementor pop-ups in the wordpress native menu without adding a single plugin that's it guys thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one Peace.